Hello, welcome, welcome to Avonward. My name is Miracle Bynum. My name is Valeria Vasquez. We are both seniors here at Avonward. In this podcast, we will be covering sports, community events, COVID updates, upcoming events, etc. Okay, so yesterday we had our first homecoming bonfire, which was a replacement. Yes. Of the annual homecoming dance that we usually have. Yes, and the senior picnic. So yes, yes. Us. Only seniors were allowed, which made it a little bit smaller. But I actually quite enjoyed that, not having all the other underclassmen there. Yes. It um, was more like comfortable to like be in there, and it was like it just felt like closer and more intimate. Intimate. Yes. <laughs> they had some food. Um, I don't really know who's cooking it, but some it was, was good. Um, I think Miss Siebel and Miss. Cook. There's nothing like a man, like real now. Oh. Um. Anyway. No. But thank you. All yes, the food thank was you really everyone good. Who the so food. yeah. So everyone that made food or anything, just thanks. Honestly, it was just a really fun time. They had a little DJ who's playing oh, some yeah. songs. He was really pretty just good. Was vibing. <laughs> really was yeah, vibing. It was a great time. Let's talk about hybrid. Hybrid. Well, we are both hybrid students. Yes. I go mm-hmm. on Monday and Tuesday. And then I go Thursday and Friday. So, how do you feel about that now? I do not like going at the end of the week, especially because it's like closer to the weekend. And I would just rather hang out or like be sleeping or something. I would rather just Monday and Tuesday because it's like the beginning of the week and that's how like it went like last year. Mm -hmm. Like Monday was the beginning of the week. Now it's like Thursday for me and it's kind of trying me out. Like I don't like it that much, but (laughs) yeah, I get that. But at the same time, I literally wish that I went to school Thursday and Friday. Just cause. We can search. <laughs> oh, yeah, honestly, I'll change um, my last name. <laughs> See, cause like I dance, well I have to dance every day, but like I dance on Mondays and you have to come to school. Yeah. I have to sit in Mr. Here's class and listen about politics. You know, it's really just mentally draining. Yeah. Like I can't do it. See, but then we also have band practice this and the game true. both days. This so, and then I work a lot, so. One of the downsides about hybrid, obviously, is that we don't see our whole grade, which was a good thing about the bonfire, is because, well, not that everyone went, but we saw people that we don't get to see with everything. Yeah, we don't usually see, yeah. That was nice. It is kind of sad, because a lot of people that I know are in group A, so I don't really see anyone anymore, including Miracle. Can't even talk to Val. So sad. (laughs) There's a survey that went out today about going back to school five days a week. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't really enjoy that to be honest. Like, yes, I think it would be like easier and it would like keep me on track like last year. And yeah, but I kind of enjoy hybrid just in the sense that I don't feel that overwhelmed coming to school because it's only two days. I do feel overwhelmed with all of the work that we have to do, it's especially lot. because. If we send emails and stuff, like teachers kind of take a little while to get back to you. So it is harder in that sense. And like, if you have questions, you basically have to like teach yourself and like look them up or like email the teachers. But like, it is harder to actually like finish your assignments and like learn. For me, my thoughts on this whole five days a week thing is that one, like COVID is still around. Mm-hmm. Like okay, great, like we're going to school, like we're going to school two days a week, we're going hybrid. But are we really trying to push it, saying let's all go back five days a week, send every single kid in the district back to the classroom so we can all get COVID and get shut down? I don't think so, guys, I don't think so. Second of all, just like school. Like I have adapted to waking up at 9.30 every day, walking into school at 10.15 and starting my day. Yeah. And now they're trying to say we're going back five days a week, which means I have to get up earlier. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That is a little, that's a little rough. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. And then also with that, I'm a very busy person, and on Wednesdays when we're not in school, that gives me the opportunity to like be a part of a lot of clubs, which because I'm quite involved in school this year, which I really, not that I haven't been involved before, but I'm more involved because I have more time on my hands because I'm not physically in the building. So I just feel like if I come back into the building, all my free time is gonna, whoop, goodbye. Yeah. It's gonna be gone, so. 
positive, of course. We gotta stay positive, guys. Yes. Positive yeah. is that I will see that. Yes. I'll see you. I'll see yeah. all my friends that are in the other half of the alphabet, yeah. and the classes will be bigger. Yes. So that's a good thing. And yes. then we will actually have time to ask the teacher questions yes. and like learn. Um, Cause like only, I think like a lot of other school districts like North Hills or like Shaler or whatever, like they're doing like what we're doing. Like they're going to school like Monday and Tuesday or Thursday and Friday. But when they're not in the building on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're still having classes. Like they're still having Zoom classes, oh, which yeah. we're not. Which is why we have a much bigger workload. Yes. So I feel like if we were back in the school five days a week, our workload would definitely be smaller. Yeah, for sure. I feel like our school is not ready to go back five it's days not. a week. Like they should definitely take a little bit more time to prepare and like actually follow like health regulations and like all of this stuff. So I think that the idea of like just coming to school two days and then the other three days just do Zoom classes just so you can like still like be updated and still have a routine, but like not come to school, you know? I agree. I just, I don't know, the whole idea of just going back five days a week is just a little bizarre to me. Like my parents who teach at like Pittsburgh Public Schools like haven't even gone back in the building yet. Like none of their kids are in school yet and they don't start till November. And then like I hear that we're already trying to go back to school and I'm just like, <laughs> really? Okay, that's fine. Vibing. Alrighty. Uh, um, yeah. For me, what was better than what I was expecting was people wearing like their masks and actually like following like all the regulations. Um, what has been worst is all the workload and like me actually like adapting to like the new schedule and like the new system and like following my classes and like doing my work because I only come two days so uh, I think I really just thought like hybrid was gonna be like so like bizarre and like so weird and like having yeah. stuff virtually well like it's honestly not anymore just because like the time that we're living in like it just seems so natural like to go to school two days a week like yeah. I don't even know I mean, our generation is probably like the best generation to like do this because we're also like super involved in like social media and stuff. So again, like Zoom classes are like super easy because we do understand the technology and like classroom is easy to work with. And just doing like the online stuff, it's easier because our generation like grew into technology and all of that stuff. I feel like if it would have been like in the past, um, mm. I don't know how they would have done that. Cause I think it was also very helpful that just Avonworth in general has already been like super like technological. Like we already mm. had Chromebooks, yeah. we already had all this stuff. Yes. So when the pandemic hit, they're like, okay, do your stuff in Google Classroom, which we already were doing before, mm -hmm. compared to a lot of other schools where now they're like, trying to get people the technology that we already have yes. and then change their whole like learning system. So that's definitely been helpful. I think another thing that like I just thought went better than like I really thought it was was just like how they have like the school set up in general. Like the lines on the floors and like where you can eat lunch to like certain like grade levels. Not grade levels, what the heck? Grades like don't interchange with each other. So yeah. if someone from a certain grade did get COVID, they don't want to shut down the school, like the whole school, and they wouldn't have to. They would just say, like, oh, if I got COVID, they'd be like, okay, like the 12th graders can't come to school anymore. Yeah. Okay. I eat outside every day, and I love eating outside. My only thing is that when it gets like cold, is that I'm not gonna be able to eat outside. Mm -hmm. It's a little sad because. Like, cause, not that there's anything wrong with eating yeah. in the cafeteria, but you can only have two yeah. people at a like table. Yeah. I don't want to go on a date with someone every time I want to eat lunch, yeah. and I don't want to eat in the gym. So, yeah, I kind of felt that. I love being outside eating because it's like you can sit closer to people, and the weather is like so nice now. But yeah. when it gets colder, we'll probably have to use the gym. But like. It's so spaced out and like awkward to eat like in the cafeteria or gym. And 
yeah it's just i don't like eating inside of the school either even though we did it last year but like last year it felt like better last because year, like it was like an actual table. Table. yeah mm -hmm. i have mixed feelings about smaller class sizes one is that i really do just like having smaller class sizes just because like it's less people and it's less chaotic but on the flip side of that i don't like having smaller class sizes because you have to talk more like that's yeah, literally just, like the bottom line yeah like you can't just sit there in silence like my scientific research class that I have here at HR Day, it's me, Charlie Bazada, um, Heather Hansen, and Emma Hadda, and that's it, and Mr. Will. Like, what was it to do when he says something to sit there? No, I have to say something, so. Yeah, I definitely agree with Miracle. You definitely have to participate more. So like if you're a shy person, that's like not good. But I do like it because I feel like I concentrate more when there's like less people and I feel like the um, lesson or whatever the teacher's saying is more like concentrated towards me and like the few people that are in the class. So I do like smaller class size studies. Sports this year have definitely been very different across the board as we are a good part of the marching band being on the Abnets. It's just been very strange. Like we've moved in certain phases like at band camp for one, we weren't all at band camp together. They have like a certain group do it early in the morning and then a certain group like later on in the day. And then after band camp, we still proceeded in separate practices. So like certain groups went on Tuesdays and the other groups went on Thursdays. And then after that phase, we eventually were all allowed to come together. But then we had to stand on separate sides of the field. You see, you see the problem here. And then Mr. Grass was like, okay guys, like you can all come together. And everyone was like, all right, vibing. And then we got the band together. Um, you know, so it was finally, it was a really good feeling to finally have everyone together. Um, the Avenats still have to wear masks, which is kind of annoying. Like, honestly, like COVID, but like, it gets but hot we're out there. Spaced out. Yeah, we were literally like, dancing. It and gets a little steamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we barely like get closer to each other literally. now. Like, we're not we're moving like, or anything. Like, oh, yeah, yeah right. so. You know, it's just a very different experience. Yeah. However, I am glad that we're still able to like do it yeah, as well, sure. like alongside all these other sports, like how football games, like we really didn't think there was gonna be a fan section at all, but there is, which is really good. So they can support the, um, the football team. Same with the band, like for a while, actually not a while, like all the weeks we haven't had the full band together like at all. We've had like smaller like pep bands as they call them. And today is actually the first day we're gonna have the whole band together, so that's really exciting. So we can have our full capacity. So that's just since the grand, like the band really grew so much this year. I'm really excited that band and soccer and football and all the other fall sports were, um, were able to have um, a season this year, even if it wasn't really what they were expecting or hoping for being their senior year. I look forward to seeing what happens with the rest of the fall sports, winter sports, and spring sports. We are now going to wrap up our podcast. Again, my name is Miracle Byron. Valeria Vasquez, your guest host. So I won't be here next week, but I will be working on audio. Yay, next week. We will be releasing our Avenue podcast like every two weeks. There will be about 45 minutes, and we will continue to cover what's going on with our sports in school and any community activities. Ready, see you guys. Thank you.